Hey YouTube, this is Mel with the Tech Library Project, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install PIA on a headless Linux server. A few weeks ago, I was talking with some friends, and we were wondering how would you install PIA on a Linux server with no GUI? graphical user interface. After doing some Googling, I found this uh, GitHub article. The gist of the article basically says you need a Linux server, you need to install OpenVPN, and you need to install Unzip and download the PIA OpenVPN configs. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how to do it and we'll see if it actually works or not. So to begin with in this demo, I'm using an Ubuntu 2004 LTS server. Um, for demo purposes, one of the first things I'm going to do is switch my user account to root and then perform an apt update app upgrade. Next thing I'm gonna do was will be download the OpenVPN software and the unzip software. The reason why we need to download the unzip software is because eventually we're gonna do a wget and pull down the OpenVPN config files from um, PIA, and those come in a compressed format. And we need to use the unzip software to actually uh, decompress the file to get access to the to, to get access to the config files. Next thing I'm gonna do here is uh, we're gonna switch to the OpenVPN directory. And once we're in the OpenVPN directory, we're going to do a wget to a PIA to pull down the config files. Once we have the config files, we'll use unzip and actually decompress the, the OpenVPN file we got from PIA and save it to a new directory called PIA. So for the purposes of this demo, we're going to use the Netherlands uh, OpenVPN config that PIA provides because um, that's the that's the config that the, um, the GitHub article references, but you could use whatever OpenVPN config you want to use for your, uh, for your production environment. So the next thing we're gonna do is find that, that Netherlands OpenVPN config, and then copy that, neg that Netherlands OpenVPN config down one directory to the OpenVPN folder. And we're gonna rename that file PIA-NL. So once we go into the PIA, next we'll go into the PIA-NL config file. And then we're going to modify the auth.user-pass line. I'm sorry, auth-user-pass line and add in the login.txt file. That login.txt file, this is where you actually will store your PIA username and password. So now we just create the the login.txt file and put in your username and password, your PIA username and password. So finally, what we're going to do is we're going to do a chmod 400 on the login.txt file 
And so that all apply some security on that login.txt file so that only the root account can actually read and take a look at it so that no one else other than root can actually log in and see what our PIA username and password is. Once we uh, do that, we're going to reboot the server and um, we'll see if it actually works or not. So one of the first things we want to do to see if this is actually working or not is when we log in, we should see a second IP address, a, a tunnel address. And if we see that tunnel address, then we have an indication that it actually is working. And then the next thing we want to check is do, um, to see what our public IP address is from that server. So as you can see, we do have a ton zero address, which shows us that it's working. And then if we do a curl and then we go to ifconfig.me, this is just an external website that um, tells you what your public IP address could be. Um, as you can see, that public IP address, that is not my public IP address. So that lets me know that everything is working and I can start doing things um, from the server securely over a VPN tunnel. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Leave comments if you don't like it. Um, this is a new format that I'm trying here where I'm doing the work ahead of time and then I'm just doing commentary on top of it. So uh, please let me know if you like it. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.